Hey guys, Danny here. So today I'm going to be walking you through how to fix a jam on the Anet A3 3D printer. Roll the intro. So there could be quite a few reasons why your printer is jamming. If this has just happened once, that's fine. If it does keep happening, then I'll definitely troubleshoot further and see if you can find out specifically why this is happening. One of the causes, funny enough, can sometimes be a lot of dust build up on your filament or on other areas of the printer. If you've purchased a cheap filament, that could be causing problems, but I'll definitely look into this further if this is a reoccurring issue for you. This video is only going to be about fixing the jam. It may not work for other printers, this is specifically for this printer, but if you have any questions, please leave a comment. So of course the first thing we need to do is power on the printer. Then we need to go to prepare, and then preheat PLA. So the reason we're preheating the filament is because we are going to be pushing it through to try and clear the blockage. So we need to heat up the printer so we can do this. So you will see the printer heating up. Uh, at the top you've got the target temperature and at the bottom you've got the current temperature. On the right you've got the bed temperature and on the left you have got the nozzle temperature. So once this week reaches 200 degrees then we can begin. So once the preheating starts you may see a small amount of filament coming through but we still need to continue with the process if you've been having problems just to make sure that the jam is cleared. Okay, so you can now see we've reached our target temperature. The first thing we need to do is remove this protective covering for the filament. So we need to move this back so we can access the filament because we're going to have to push it through by hand. So that should be fine. The next step is you should see this little lever here. This holds the filament in place. So what we're going to have to do is we hold this down and then we push the filament through by hand. I'm going to have to put the camera down so I can do this. And hopefully this should clear the blockage. Hold this down and we want to push the filament through. So I'll do my best to keep my hands out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. But it is quite difficult with this camera angle. So we want to push, push this button down and start pushing that filament through. You should see it coming through the bottom. It is quite difficult to do this. You do have to push quite hard on the filament. Jam is proving fairly difficult, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to prepare and I'm going to go on to preheat ABS. This should give us a higher nozzle temperature of 230. So hopefully, this high temperature should make the jam a bit easier to clear. We'll see if this works. Okay, so there we have it. That took a lot of effort and a lot of pushing, but you can see it's now coming through. Um, you want to make sure that it's not coming through really thin. You want to make sure it's a nice consistency, thick, and sort of the same same consistency the whole way. If it's not, you may need to keep going. If this doesn't fix the problem, um, then I'm not really sure what else I could suggest. I would probably look into this further. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this helps some of you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Please thumb up the video if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, I will be making more videos. And if you have any requests, please send them to me. Thanks for watching.